with enormous potential, as yet unfulfilled. Kicks it long out wide. Flanagan's the target. Big pack and a lovely mark taken there by Taylor. Well, where's he come from? Taylor's on the ball. Way out in the half forward flank. His kick is a shocker. McMullen. Good mark, McMullen. An ugly kick and a bad kick from Taylor. McMullen, the opportunist, snuck in front of the pack and took a very well judged mark. And McMullen, his fourth kick, just finished a season of pennant cricket. Ian McMullen. 45 metres from goal. That looks a nice kick to me. And a very dangerous young man is this one. Well played. He's taken two excellent marks, and that's his first goal, and the first time that the black and whites have hit the lead. That goal from McMullen and Collingwood in front by three points. Not a uh, very good centre bounce. Jamie Turner for Collingwood. Hand pass uh, indiscriminate. Boss uh, gets one a little high from uh, Morewood. And Mark Boss will get the free kick. Chance now for the Cats to reply. Boss goes back. High kick. Chance for Linda. Johnson was backing into him. Off the hands. Linda comes through again. Brownless now the chance to pick up. The lanky fellow does it well. Breaks one tackle but can't break the second. Phillips. Wright uh, pushes him off the ball. And I think that could have been out of bounds on the full. It was. It was off the boot of Tony Shaw. And the free kick will go to Geelong's Terry Bright. And here comes Terry, who's the veteran of this side now. No, it's Billy Brown that's going to take it. His fifth kick. He's taken four marks. And four times they were from beautiful passes, but his leads were equally as significant. Brownless on a very, very difficult angle. Banana kicks a beauty. No, nope, slewed it too much. One behind. And now Brownless has kicked one, two, and one out of bounds. Difference, two points. There's his uh, opposite number, Phillips. It puts it in the uh, fellow's direction. Flanagan trailing him, but fellow's too much pace. Mark's half-back flank. Gafer for Collingwood. Flanagan just couldn't grab him. Gary Shaw. Sumner. Collingwood building up an attack to half-forward. Cloak, one out. Chance for McEwen. One way, then the other. Screws it high for Taylor. Cleave is there. Taylor too strong. I'm sure was. Super mark. Super mark. McEwen turning and twisting. Couldn't find a teammate to hand pass to. Then really kicked it over his shoulder. And what an excellent mark by Brian Taylor, who has played very well. Well, he shouldn't miss this one. He's kicked one goal. And there's another ball gone over the stand. And Collingwood will be quite willing to sacrifice that one. Taylor's second goal. Collingwood leading by eight points. Flanagan, the tap out. Where are the Rovers? They're not there. Jamie Turner out of the centre. Into the pocket, looking for Taylor. Cleave in front. Nice mark. Craig Cleave. Yes, well done, Cleave, because the pressure's on him. And he responded to it very well then, because Taylor, looking as if he's getting on top, got front position cleverly and took a very strong mark. Nice leap there by Flanagan. Out to Darren Morgan. Morgan's a bit slow. Back it comes towards Morgan. He's caught again. And he's held it to... Oh! Accidentally. Accidentally, I think. Damien Drum. But it's Greg Smith, I think, who took the punishment. And Smith, at one stage, being called the bionic man. He's right to recover from tough stuff. Out wide it goes. Taylor again! Oh, that was a good one. Now, that really was a good one that time, because it wasn't his ball, but very strong. His fifth mark. He's kicked two goals. And in these lovely conditions for football, Brian Taylor, the ex-Tiger, is really playing like a Tiger today and enjoying it. Collingwood lead by eight points at the ten-and-a-half-minute mark of the second term as Taylor kicks for goal. 
Splendid kick, but I think just off direction. Just off direction. And that particular performance deserved a goal. He's kicked 2 2. Nine points the difference in favour of uh, Collingwood. Reynoldson couldn't take the mark. Clearing kick by uh, Cleve. Chance for Darcy. Nice play by Smith, though. Much bigger player as Darcy, but uh, Smith used the body well to foil any uh, any move that Geelong may have come up with. Fellows and Johnson. Johnson, our Fellows brilliantly took it away from him. Darcy. Darcy down to the half forward line of Geelong. In front. All good effort there from Geelong, but just missed from Turner. Sumner. In front. Collins spoilt brilliantly by Damien Martin Christensen. Morgan again. Hooks it back. Shane Moore, it's got a really death-defying one. They go all over the top of him. Sumber brilliant. Boots it downfield. Underneath it, the chance is there for Neville Shaw. Picked up very nicely by Mullane. Mullane to David Cloak is dangerous. And there's a free kick going to be played. Cloak on. They allow the advantage rule and a shocking hand pass. And it's picked up by Boss. Boss has kicked uh, wide and a good, strong mark taken by Drum. Quickly the hand pass to Linda. There's nobody in support. Drum has to come back. Traps the ball well. Will get around Tony Shaw. High kick by Drum to full forward. Fellows is lurking there. Off hands and Brownless will kick his second goal. An opportunist goal by Billy Brownless. Midway through the third quarter and Collingwood's lead and now 14 points. Is going to get the free kick for a high tackle. Yes, it must have been a high tackle, Clark. Otherwise, he was caught a million. Out to Tony Shaw and Tony Shaw to Cloak. Cloak in front is beaten. An opportunity now for Daniels again, who's looking very lively. Running past it, fighting for it as Turner, been a magnificent contester. Eventually Morgan. Morgan downfield. McEwen is there, punches it away. Opportunity for Gafer. Oh, scoops it back to Tony Shaw cleverly. Morwood's got the chance too. Well played. Brilliant football to Gary Shaw. Gary Shaw drives it out wide, looking for Collins. He'll be out leaped. He's not. He fights for it very well. Good play, Collins, and then lost it. O'Keefe caught with a good tackle by Turner. And the player playing the ball has not got the usual advantage. The perfect tackle rule being played very, very often. Too much, I think. And kick number 14 to turn. It's not a kick. Out it goes to Greg Smith. Greg Smith down to Taylor. Taylor in front. Marks. Geez, look good. Ten marks. And as everybody who's ever coached Brian Taylor has said, if you'll get in front with that wonderful bulk you've got, you'll be difficult to beat. And today he's played in front. He's coming in for his 12th kick. And he's going to kick his sixth goal. There it goes, right through the centre. Collingwood 10-12 to Geelong 7-10. 18 and a half minute mark, third quarter. Collingwood leading by 20 points. Follows the knockout, but it goes straight to uh, Turner. Shane Maud couldn't quite mark it. No, he's been paid the mark. Held possession. Much to the disgust of uh, Bruce Lindner. Maud was about to blow up. That was silly play. And this will allow Evans in to shoot for an easy goal. And that was a silly mistake then by Maud. Hands on hip. There's Big Flanagan. Gets a very favourable bounce. Down it comes to Boss. Across it goes towards Sumner. In front is Damien Christensen. Good play, Morwood. Beautiful ball handling. Left foot it down in front. It's going to be taken there by Martin Christensen. Martin Christensen out towards centre wing. Long kick goes downfield. Damien Dunshane, Morwood there. Morwood looking pretty good. Out towards Mullane. Mullane left foot it down and it'll be taken for Collingwood. Neville Shaw. <laughs> no one to kick it to. High, Cloak behind Cleve. Cloak plays the uh, defensive role. That's uh, Reynoldson's clearing kick. No, Cleve's clearing kick, and it's been marked by Burgess. Minutely plays on to Smith. Been a good player for Collingwood, Greg Smith. Kicks towards the centre of the ground. Turner, best on ground, but was spoiled then. Pack's developing. 
Maud can't make clear. And the umpire is giving the free kick to Shane Maud for a push in the back. Shane Maud, the hand pass out to Greg Smith. Greg Smith will drive it wide to the half-forward flank looking for Collins and finds him. O'Keefe on the mark. Collins downfield. Up goes Taylor again, very high. Mark Williams shoots for goal. It bounces straight and straight through it went. A little bit of fortune, but well played. Collingwood 11-12. Geelong 8-10. And the Magpies in full flight lead by 20 points. Williams' first goal and Collingwood now back to that 20-point lead through the legs of Couch, picked up by O'Keefe. Let's see what the Cats can do. Morwood playing with confidence, although he spilt that one, it won't do his confidence all that good, but Morwood tries to push it further afield. Mullane. Oh, chance there for uh, Hoyles. Couldn't quite pull in the mark. Who's that on the bottom of the pack? It's uh, Neville Shaw. Hands the uh, footy back to the umpire. It's been a very entertaining game in good conditions here at Victoria Park. Yes, delightful autumn conditions. Down it comes from Flanagan. Turner in the thick of things as usual. So is Gary Shaw. Nice play, Hocking, who's a strong, determined young man. Out wide it comes, and Sumner's a strong, determined young fellow too. And look at... The smothered kick is going to favour Shaw, Gary Shaw, to McMullen, who's been dangerous all day. McMullen, and it's another even, Stephen, which Taylor's got the chance against Reynoldson. He shepherds, looks to help. Well played, Reynoldson. Strong play, Mullane. Really strong play and took a high one. My word, desperate Dan Mullane, desperate Darren Mullane. He really showed great and fearless courage that time and got the rewards from it. He comes in for his 12th kick and Mullane should go. But a faint heart would have stayed out of that one. Mullane, one of the players who's looking at Collingwood as if he's going to be really a very, very fine player of the future. His sixth kick for the quarter. It's a fine contribution. Kicks for goal. And it wasn't... It was good. Very quiet Collingwood stand. Through it went. And the Magpies are looking particularly strong in this third term.